In this episode, we will examine the apparitions of Mary at Lourdes in France. The apparition is Our Lady of Lourdes. In this episode, we will marvel at the reverence of the, of the seer, the message of hope and love from the Blessed Virgin Mary of Heaven, how the Lady reveals her identity and wonderful miracles that have taken place during and after the events at Lourdes, and especially the beautiful and miraculously incorrupt body of Saint Bernadette. Back soon. Welcome to Regina de Faith, Educating for Eternity. The Most Holy Mother of Heaven made a remarkable promise to the 14-year-old Bernadette Soberu, and it's very relevant to us as well. She says, quote, I cannot promise you happiness in this life, only in the next, close quote. This is the same fate for us here too. Bernadette Soberu was born on January the 7th in 1844 in Lourdes, France. Lourdes is in a town southwest France in the foothills of the Pyrenees Mountains. Bernadette was the eldest of nine children with three of her siblings passing away into eternal life soon after they were born. She was baptized on January the 9th in 1844, two days after her birth and on the anniversary of her parents' wedding. Bernadette's godmother was Bernadette Castoreau. Her mother's sister, whose name she would all eventually take on in religious life as Marie Bernard. Her father was Franco Superu and he was a miller, and her mother was Louise, who also was a laundress. Poverty had overtaken the Superu family and they were forced to leave their mansion house and live in a, a prison called the Chacachot, which literally means dungeon in French. Bernadette suffered many ailments in her childhood and wasn't very learned. Bernadette, at the age of 14, was graced with a total of 18 visions. Commencing with the first vision on February the 11th and the final vision on July the 16th, the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. On February the 11th, 1858, Bernadette had her first vision of a beautiful lady. Whilst volunteering with her sister Marie and a friend whilst volunteering with her sister Marie and a friend to gather wood for the family at Masabial, which is a place where they used to throw a lot of rubbish, she experienced her first vision. While the other girls had crossed the, the little stream in front of the grotto and walked on, Bernadette stayed behind looking for a place where she could, was able to cross. Remember, she was, suffered a lot of illnesses and the cold water would not suit her. She finally sat down to take her shoes off in order to cross the water and was lowering her stockings when she heard the sound of rushing wind but nothing moved. A wild rose in a natural niche in the grotto however did move and from the niche or rather the dark alcove behind it came a dazzling light and a white figure. And this would be the first of 18 visions. Bernadette describes the following event in her own words, quote, I came back towards the grotto and started taking off my stockings. I had hardly taken off the first stocking when I heard a sound like a gust of wind. Then I turned my head towards the meadow. I saw the trees quite still. I went on taking off my stockings. I heard the same sound again. As I raised my head to look at the grotto, I saw a lady dressed in white, wearing a white dress, a blue girdle and a yellow rose on each foot. The same colour as the chain of her rosary. The beads of the rosary were white. Whilst Bernadette was true to her words and these events, many in the towns and beyond did not believe Bernadette. But the disbelieving people would soon witness the miracle which would change their minds. We call this the miracle of the spring which continues to flow today and has been directed to washing and drinking water. Scientists cannot find a source of the spring. In other words, they don't know where it's coming from. On the ninth apparition, Bernadette was asked by the lady to drink from the spring. Yet Bernadette could not see any spring. Bernadette originally thought it was the river which was not far away. After confirming that it wasn't the river, 
and that the spring was beyond her, in other words, it was under her, she began digging with her bare hands in a muddy patch and drank a few drops of muddy water. The lady also asked her to eat some loose grass. Many onlookers began to, to laugh at Pearl Bernadette and called her insane or she's lost it. She was labelled a fraud and many were dismayed. What would prove to be a miracle was the water started to flow from the spring where Bernadette had been digging. And from this water flowed a spring in which people started to have miraculous healings, ex experiencing spiritual healings as well, and great attractions of Lords to this day. Some reported some over 69 healings or miracles in, in uh, Lords even to this day. The lady had another request to give to the local parish priest. She asked for the building of a chapel and that procession should take place there. Father Periamil did not believe Bernadette and asked for the lady to reveal her name. And the revelation came on the Feast of the Annunciation on March the 25th. During the apparition, Our Lady said to Bernadette, quote, I am the Immaculate Conception. Due to Bernadette's lack of catechism and also education, she did not know what these words went. And therefore, on her way to tell Father Perimal, Perimal, she repeated the words inwardly to avoid forgetting them before speaking the words to her astonished priest. On Friday, July the 16th, Bernadette made one final pilgrimage to the Lady. During the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin, the Virgin Mary made several revelations to Bernadette. She asked Bernadette to do penance and pray for sinners. She also gave Bernadette some very secret and private uh, messages for herself, which she went to the grave with. Bernadette was drawn to the religious life of the Carmelite sisters, but due to her ill health, she joined the Sisters of Nevers, the Sisters of Charity, who were established in 1680. She entered religious life in July of 1866 at the age of 22 and was given the name Sister Marie Bernard and remained there until her death at the age of 35 on April 16 in 1879. Following the events of the apparitions, a papal investigation was founded. After long deliberation and careful examination of the events that took place over in Lourdes in France, it was declared that the visions of the Virgin Mary really did occur at the Grotto of Lourdes. She received the beatification in 1925 and she was canonised by Pius XI in 1933, who said this of Bernadette, quote, so much for the content of her visions, but rather for her simplicity and holiness of life, close quote. Saint Bernadette is the patron saint of six per sick persons and also of the family and poverty. Thirty years after her death, Bernadette's body was exhumed and now lies in the convent of Saint Gildard in Nevers, which is incorrupt. It is an absolute beautiful, beautiful view. And I would highly recommend if you have a chance to go to Lourdes first and then go to Nevers, you will not be disappointed. It's as if she is asleep. Here we have a saint, a holy, a holy person in 1879 who died and still her body remains incorrupt. I must admit I have had the privilege of seeing Bernadette's incorrupt body on three occasions. Thanks be to the Lord. Therefore, please join with me in asking St. Bernadette to pray for me and to pray for you also our viewers this extraordinary, humble young girl at the age of 14, graced with the vision of Our Lady. Thank you for tuning in. And if this episode helped you in some way in your faith, we invite you to subscribe and give us a like and a share with someone you may feel may need to build their faith. Thank you for joining us today and may God be with you.